is out at night. Sometimes you have to correct them. Good coin in it, too. Uh, in the last episode, I uh, started the bait and switch mission. I'd forgotten that that was the one that introduced a new character and a bit of a longer quest line than I really intended to do. But, um, you just stand in there, lady? It's weird. But anyway, I decided to end that episode and start a new one finishing off the mission because it seemed a little bit more appropriate. So, let's get there. We're hunting slavers from Trevinter. An elf named um, Fenris was being hunted by them. Sort of um, paid off a guy to find some mercenaries. No ah. one has left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Daenerys may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. I could stand to know a little more about this Daenerys. He is a magister of the Tevinter Imperium. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. What's the worst that could happen? I do not fear death. That does not mean we should be reckless. Fenris is going to have to be here. of you, Daenerys. Yeah, announce our presence. That sounds like a great idea. Watch your step. There's a trap somewhere. I don't see it, though. It's a little unusual, as far as him being a warrior. Two-handed warrior, damage dealer, pretty much. He's a little more muscular than you tend to see an elf being, also. All set. spirits to do his fighting for him. Daenerys, can you hear me? Your pets cannot stop us. He is a mage from Tervinter. What do you expect him to do? Only in Tervinter could he get away with that kind of shit, too. Pretty much everywhere else in the civilized world has such a fear of mages and the darker magics and all that kind of stuff that he would probably have been put to death for even trying to summon these things. But, you know, they're more accepting of that kind of stuff in Tervinter. Even though we're not in Tervinter now, he's also desperate and, hey, there's no one else here to stop him. Except for us, of course. Trap. Oh, a rage demon. Lost a cursor for a second. Rage demon!
Alright, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> not terribly interested in uh, micromanaging their level ups. So, the only one I'm probably going to end up doing that with is Hawk. Uh. How am I going to get out of this? Eh. Uh. Can't cure these people. We're on cooldown. Isabella's probably going to fall pretty soon. Take down that one. Have Andrew's help. I don't know where Isabella... Oh, here she is. <laughs> Sorry I'm doing this. Um I guess all of the uh, the traps were disabled when I disabled the one. Should I use an injury kit or try to just tough through it? I can't do that. I'd like to, sweet thing, but I can't. Thanks for not helping. Should have brought Liliana. Hawk was about to get her ass kicked. Here we go again. I guess that's it. I should probably use those injury kits. Got rid of one of the injuries.
That'll have to do. I don't want to waste the rest of them. For such a rich guy, why is the floor broken? Another rage demon. Well, we're still doing better than we were last time. Oop, got the Magister's Key. I don't know why a Rage Demon would have it, but we have it now. Since we just picked up another injury kit, I'll use one. Why does this guy have a sword stuck in him? Oh, well, time to go do some more killing. There I go killing again. Well, I guess the enemies were behind me. Arcane horrors. Perfect. Come on, dog. Take care of all that. While I run away. working out so well. How did everybody die so quickly? What happened there? I wasn't really watching. I'll win. I guarantee that. Like 
Once I can get the dog back, I'll be able to finish the rest of them off. Shit, here they come. Ah, uh, shit. There we come. Why couldn't they just not spawn more of them? Oh, there's even, there's even more. left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I need some air. Alright, so Fenris is obviously disappointed. He was hoping this bastard would be here so we could kill him, but he's not. He just left a lot of terrible shit for us to deal with. Bunch of shades and demons and crap. Probably more valuables in here we can take, right? Yep. All set. I didn't want it anyway. flesh in my soul and now I find myself in the company of even more mages ah here it comes I saw you casting spells inside I should have realized sooner what you really were you harbor a viper in your midst it will turn on you and strike when you least expect that is in its nature you're talking about a gray warden and a healer and a few other things. But let's not mention those. I'm not blind. I know magic has its uses, and there are undoubtedly mages with good intentions. But even the best-intentioned mage can fall prey to temptation. And then, their power is a curse to inflict upon others. Considering all the curses inflicted on us, I'd say it's an even trade. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize. For nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Denarius, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium. Burned into my flesh to provide the power that Denarius required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> the truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Denarius's choice, one he now regrets. I've seen some of your abilities. Do they come from those markings? Some. 
All I know is that even in the Imperium, warriors such as myself are rare. Perhaps they believe I should feel honored. Do you think your master will keep chasing you? He is too proud not to. Perhaps one day the hunt will cost him more than he is willing to pay. But I doubt that matters any longer. Are you going to have a problem with my companions? I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. Okay, we picked up a new character, Fenris, level 9 warrior. A, another uh, another warrior, We uh, unlike um, Aveline, he's a two-hand, a, what do you call it? A uh, two-handed weapon warrior, so he's more based around the idea of offense rather than defense. So, you, know, you pretty much use him differently in combat than you do with Aveline. He deals damage, he doesn't take hits. Although I guess imagine he can take hits better than like Hawk or, or um, any of the rogues or anything like that. But whatever. That'll be the end of the episode. I get now. Nah, I can hold on. You have the character of Fenris who lived in Tervinter, I guess, for quite a while. Don't know how long he lived there, but in that society there are a lot of mages and there are a lot of there's a much greater acceptance of what being a mage is and all that kind of stuff. But he doesn't seem to share any of that belief. I think that's kind of that's kind of funny that he's uh, even despite growing up in that culture. I guess perhaps because he was just a slave there, because Tervinter does it slave has slaves and all that. He doesn't have quite the same appreciation you'd expect from somebody that lived in that world. But uh, there's that. Episode ends.